Good morning, everyone. Hi, Yuna. Hi, baby. Say good morning. There's Miss Bella. Hi, Miss Bella. Where's Mr. Louie? Come on, we're going to go outside and check the garden out. You guys ready? Let's go check the garden out. Oh. Hot out here already. Oh my god, it's almost a hundred. Look. It's at least 97 or something. Got the vacuum cleaner in the pool. Yesterday, guys, I had a good day. Um <clears throat> yesterday, I'm trying to think of what the date was yesterday. Yesterday was May May 12th. I know that you're not going to see these videos right off the back real fast, but I pressure washed that side of the screen. You can see where I missed some of the some of the pollen, but I pressure washed all the way around, and I pressure washed these boxes. Oh my gosh, guys, this box! This box was so dark on the top. I should have filmed. I still got everything out here. Um, look at the front. Now it was way worse than the front. I can probably show you the back and then you can see how bad it was. Nope, the back doesn't even do it justice. The top was very bad. I think there's some kind of paint that I can get to spray paint this. Because this white is, um, it's, it gets in bad shape. Now this thing here, it was filthy too. I use this. Well, I put my vacuum cleaner in here. This other junk wasn't in here. I moved it in here because of the cleaning the deck yesterday. I need to get this dried off. I want to spray paint both of them to match. <coughs> now I'm not sure what color I'm going to do. I thought about spray painting them um, <clears throat> brown. Now that I think about it, if I can get that charcoal gray for them, uh, them chairs, I'm going to spray paint it that color. I'm going to spray paint this one too. I know they make paint for plastic. I'll have to look first and see what I have to do. I mean, I might spray paint it and then it end up peeling off. I don't know. <clears throat> come on, Lou. Guys, over here. Oops, come on now. Oh, yeah, it's too hot to be out here again today. The other day, it was late in the evening and, um, I planted all them baby elephant ears, 27 of them. I planted them, planted them all the way down this fence. So eventually, this side of the yard is going to be just covered with elephant ears. It's going to be really tropical and really beautiful. I do plan on, and I don't know how, but in between some spots, I want to put my pumpkins and my, um, my big pumpkins and my mini pumpkins. I guess I'll just have to relocate the vines. If they, as they start growing, I'll have to grab them and put them where I want them to be. Um, I've never grown pumpkins before, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to. You know, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Oh, look at these back here. It's been raining so much, you would think that they would be doing good. That one don't look like it's doing so great. I got a bunch of them in here. Like the gigantic one. That is the gigantic one from out front after that 27 degree cold that's what came back and it just looks awful <clears throat> my rose bushes like that one there that was always doing bad looks great this is the, the yellow one that Thomas got me I just I don't know what I did to it I had them covered up at the cold maybe I covered them up too much look at the beauty in this and it looks like it's broke isn't that beautiful? I mean, I'm sure rose bushes are hardy. It'll probably come back. And then this one down here. Where we live in Florida in the wintertime, it gets pretty darn cold. 
I got a lot to do. Guys, I don't know if I showed you this. I probably never did. I took a bunch of the pothos and put it around the tree. And then I shoved the last bit of mulch that we had back there up and around the tree. I want to bring more pothos out here. I would love to have that turn into Hawaiian pothos and grow up the tree. I know that it, 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 um, the leaves get humongous. I actually want to get... Next time I see somebody's house with it, see if I can get some clippings of the Hawaiian, the real big stuff. But for now, that's what I planted. Hopefully it comes comes out. I have so much pothos. There's the scissors I was looking for. Didn't know where they were. All right. It has been raining so much the last two days that I haven't had to come out in the garden and um, water anything. I know one thing, the grass needs mowed. Oh my gosh, there's another squash that's so big. Let's go up inside there. I see so many peppers. Can you see them all? There's just so many of them. Oh my goodness. This bush alone has, I don't know, six or seven on it. And those were last year's bushes. Oh, look at the dill. The dill's finally growing. It must have liked all the rain. <clears throat> Alright, we're going inside. Let me lay these scissors down here so I can forget them there too. Because that's what happens. I lay them down and then I forget about them. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh wow, those are the pumpkins. These are the pumpkins that I need to get in the ground over on the other side. And hope Louie doesn't trample them. Look at the size of that. Remember this the other day or last week? It's getting big. Tomatoes, yay. I gotta learn how to can like tomatoes. And, um, I'm not, I don't know how to can very well. Um, all of the cabbage, I know cabbage likes cold weather. Someone had mentioned that in my video and I knew that, but I was just hoping. So, if they don't grow, I'll start them over in the in the winter. Now this here is the spinach. Look at the size of that one and this one. And that one back there is still small. But they're getting there. Maybe spinach is not a hot weather. I'll have to look that up too. Maybe spinach is not a hot weather thing. Now this is eggplant. I don't know what all the holes are in the eggplant. Unless it's bugs. Don't know. That there I emptied. I might move that back up to where it belongs. Now, let's see about the potatoes. I don't see any. I mean, I just see the regular sprouts. I don't see it growing too much. But remember, it said it takes three months. And then here, I put some potatoes too. So we'll keep an eye on the potatoes. There's a ton of, um, ton of peppers on this bush too. I wish I had to put that squash there in the ground and this one. Look at the size of this little baby. But what I wanted to show you guys. Now Thomas told me I shouldn't let the squash get real big because it might not taste as good. But look at the size of that one. I just want to see how big that one gets. This one here is probably ready to pick. So that, it, oh it's kind of soft. I think it said it had to be hard, didn't it? It's kind of kind of a little soft the cucumber <laughs> I just walked into a spider room the cucumber is climbing up the trellis I wish I had to put all cucumbers here and didn't put this squash here but I'm definitely not moving it look at this this is cucumber and it's grabbing on I guess cucumber is gonna go over the trellis the beans in that pot are doing horrible these don't look like they're doing well yeah I guess they are Guys, the raspberry bush was right here. It disappeared. Now that's the grape bush. It's still still alive. What is that noise? Sounds like a sprinkler's on. I don't know what it is. 
Um, I might pull those beans out. Not today. But, I don't know. There's an ele elephant ear coming up from the, f from the other side of the fence. So, that's how the garden's doing. Bunches and bunches of peppers. I mean, look at this little dinky bush. This was the bush that I asked, I sprayed that vinegar water on and kind of burned it. It's even got babies. I'm trying to clear some of this spot out because remember, guys, I, I was talking about I got more squash going and I'm going to put the squash up in here. And then that way, eventually, that squash will be gone from there. And I'll do all cucumbers up in there. I still haven't found a home for the palm tree. I don't even know if I'd be able to dig it up. And then what if it dies, you know? The orange tree is still looking pretty shab. I'm not sure if it's... I mean, it looks like it's coming back, and then it doesn't. And then it does, and then it doesn't. So I don't know if it's going to or not. This is that el this is that um, tomato plant that was a sucker. It was a sucker that I pulled off the other one. Um, and I just pushed it down in the dirt. Take the lower leaves off. You're not supposed to top water it, but you know what? They top watered it years ago. I mean. I don't understand, you know, there's so many things change over the years, and yes, maybe there is a better way of doing things, but I mean, in my opinion, you can still top water your t tomatoes. Yes, it might be better to bottom water them, but you can still top water them. Look at the size of this one. This is going to be the cherry tomatoes. Oh, I got to get another clip on there. Yeah. They're growing. This is like the best, best you know, tall, width wise, tall wise, that I've gotten t tomatoes. And it could be I used bigger pots this year. Let me, let me go back around there and clip that up a little bit higher. These things here, whole bag of them at the Dollar Tree. Let's see, we'll do it like that. Let's see. There we go. It's going to be cherry tomatoes, or jelly bean cherry tomatoes. Look at my basil down there growing with, right along with that. Alright, what's this? Is this eggplant? Or is this basil? This is basil. They love all the rain. All that rain's really, really done my plants good. All right, well, and here's the three varieties. I gotta get some sticks in here. They're gonna be falling over of tomato plants. Unless, no, I was gonna say, unless I bring them towards that, towards the fence. I don't even know how well they're gonna do because I planted three different, three different tomato plants in one, in that one long pot under there. All right. Look, I put a mailbox if you guys want to mail me some mail to the garden. LOL. I'm just joking. That's not the address. <laughs> I don't remember where I got that mailbox. I think Tyler might have brought it home from when he worked at the scrapyard. It was cute. Like a little tractor. I could probably put it like up on top of um, one of those things there. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with that trellis. Just don't know yet. And this right here, we couldn't get it all the way in the ground. I wanted to hang some strawberries off of here, but I know it needs to go in the ground a lot more before I can do that, so. Gotta wait on that one. All right. So hopefully all that pothos takes root. Look at the size of some of them leaves, like Tyler had bought me a Hawaiian pothos, and um, the leaves were really decent size like that one. So I'm hoping it'll grow all the way up this tree. And I want to put some over in that corner and hope it goes up that tree. 
it'll make the yard so beautiful. Well, you know what I mean. I would love to have the backyard resodded and have some beautiful grass out here. But it's too expensive and I don't know. It's just too expensive. We can't afford it. This grass will turn greener in the summer. You know, the more rain we get, the more greener it will get. It's just got so many patches. You can see all the patches throughout it. We changed up the fire pit, so I got to figure out something for this. I just seen a TikTok where you take center blocks. And I think I have center blocks. Where are they? You take center blocks in a long 2x4. Let me see if I have a center block. Those were all the rocks around the fire pit. Look at this, this metal thing. I think it's going to be perfect somewhere. I don't know where yet. Um, to have vegetables growing up both sides of it. It's just like six foot wide. So I got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Because I don't know yet. But I swear I thought I had some center blocks. Look, the rain has knocked everything over. The wind and the rain. I don't see the center blocks. But anyways, you take four center blocks and you take four two by fours, maybe a two by four by five foot or something. And you put the center blocks all together and then you put the two by four in the first hole on each side. And then they, it kind of tilts outwards and then you put your firewood all the way up in the middle. And I thought, thought about that for all that firewood back there. But, oh, I see. I got one center block. It's right there. I just have one. I'll have to put my order in with my nephew. I need some more center blocks, Billy. We won't be having a fire in the, the summer, probably, so. Um, I gotta figure out where that firewood's going. Because I have no clue where it's going. These are all the strawberries. I planted new strawberries. This is all strawberry seeds from fresh strawberries. So we'll see how that works. Um, I planted a different, different tomato plant here. The other one looked like, I don't know, it just looked bad. I want to um, start some more tomato plants. This is my cucumbers. Now I need to get more in because like they didn't, this one didn't come up and this one didn't come up. Is this cucumber? Beef steak. It says cucumber, yes. So what I want to do with these, I only did four and I should have did more because I should have known they weren't going to come up. I'm going to plant them right here. I'm going to dig holes. One, two, three, and four. And I'll put a little piece of fence in front of them to keep Louie off. But then it'll grow up this trellis here. I mean this to me kind of looks stupid, but... Um, I don't know. That's what I planned on doing there. I mean, I could always bring that thing up here. But I'm going to do this for this year, and we'll see. I'll figure out where I'm putting the big one. Now, this one here is going to go in the garden, probably. I don't know about this year. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. You know, if I could make a six-foot a six foot raised bed back there somewhere, this could go right in the center of the six foot raised bed. And then I could plant on both sides of it. I would just have to make sure I planted stuff that grew up. All right, well. All the rain, I don't have to water nothing. So much rain. I pulled this out of the pool area yesterday when I was pressure washing. Um, I got some more strawberries in here. That might be one coming up. Um, in here, look at my, what are they, begonias, or, let me think, hydrangeas, these are my hydrangeas, they look awful, why are they this color, they were purple when I bought them, and now they just look ugly, I don't know, maybe they need to be out in the sun, I need to get them, plant them in the ground, but I hate to do that and have them die. This baby's finally coming back up. It's a variegated elephant here. There's three of them. This one's mine. 
These two are Haley's. She bought three of them and gave me one. This right here, I have no clue what it is, but look how pretty. It's something I planted this year. It's got the pink thing. So I planted it this year. I don't know if I planted it by bulbs or by seeds. But you know what I think it is? I think, I bet you anything, this is what it is. Right here. These were in one of them Mother's Day pots from last year. After Mother's Day, the pots went down sale for $5. They were in one of the pots. They never came up. I guess it was the wrong time of the year. So when I repurposed the pots, I grabbed the bulbs and just threw the bulbs in different pots. Um, that's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. I would like to get... Um, I said I wasn't buying no more plants, so... I, but I would like to get, um... Some birds of paradise. I would actually... I don't know, I love this here. I was thinking I'd actually have, like to put it in the ground. And have a bird of paradise just go up right there. Um... But I don't know that I will. If I do that, I want one at both ends. You know, that means I would have to move this too. And I've don't I've never planted anything right in the ground here. All this stuff has just been pots. Like this right here. What is that? Is that a weed? It looks like it's about to sprout some flowers. Look at this. Look at the size of this. Is this a bird of paradise, Thomas? It's so big. That might be a bird of paradise. I planted two elephant ears in this pot because um, they broke off back there. And I just shoved them in the pot to see if they would grow. But that looks like it could be a bird of paradise. It's beautiful. This here now, I'm, I'm afraid I might have too much stuff in the pot. And if I go to bring it out, it might just die. This baby here will bloom all summer. It's some kind of lily. It will bloom all summer. I wish I had more of them. All right, I know I've been trying to go back in. These right here are my hollyhocks. All the way down. I even have baby ones. Like these I planted from seeds. These I planted from bulbs. Um, I'm curious to know what they're going to end up looking like. I think that's a hollyhock too, but they're not coming up. Look at this. If you guys see this at the Dollar Tree, um, as seeds, it grows really fast and, it, and it's real pretty. Let me show you over here. Look at this one. Look at this vase. That was just seeds. And that's how big it's gotten so far. It's beautiful. And they were a quarter for a pack. All right, I'm really going in this time. This right here, well, almost. This was strawberries that I planted to strawberry and everything. But I, I think I see a little bit of mold. So I don't know if the plant's going to come up or not. Alright. Yep, time to go in. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough today of the garden. Peace.